Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus and welcome to our live stream. It is the beginning of our much anticipated Sears and Science Conference 2024 with our guest speaker, Dr. Moses McQuiza, who is no stranger to this ministry. You know, the excitement here, guys, is really uh, amazing. People are uh, waiting in anticipation for the beginning of our conference. You can join us for our conference. Our, fir our first day is today. Our first service is at 8 a.m. and our second service at 10.15 a.m. You can also join us on Monday to Thursday, the 1st to the 4th of July at 7 p.m p.m. for our evening services, as well as on the 3rd and the 4th for our morning services at 10 a.m. You know, we just want to interview a few guys today to, uh, to see how, what they're expecting and the excitement in the atmosphere here today. Morning, how are you? Morning, good in you? Good, thank you. Uh, your name is? It's Sherlene. Okay, where are you joining us from? All the way from Madrid. Okay, would you like to share what you're expecting for this conference? Um, I'd like to receive more of a double portion um, anointing and the presence of God for God to take me to the next level in my spiritual life. Amen. You know, she joined us from a very far far away. And uh, we thank God for our online ministry. You joined us via our online ministry. Would you like to, uh, would you like to, um, would you like to encourage our viewers today to come and join us for ourselves? Yes. Uh, so we've been watching online for the past eight months. And when we came to visit the um, in-service uh, in April, our lives changed completely. Um, you know, I felt under the anointing, I felt yokes have been broken, um, chains were broken. And I just want to encourage the online viewers, if you can make it in person, please do. Your life will never be the same again, and it, you'll be completely changed. Amen. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to check with another member today. Morning, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Your name is? Janine. Okay. Janine, what are you expecting for our conference? Um, we're expecting supernatural manifestation, signs, wonders to be shifted to another level. Amen. And you're excited for the conference? Yes, definitely. Will you be joining us for a whole conference, all seven days? Yes, yes, yes. I'll... Amen. Okay, thank you, Janine. Okay, guys, we pray that you will be blessed by our conference. You know, uh, there's so much excitement. There's so much anticipation in this atmosphere. And you can see the guys around you. They are welcoming everyone with boards. People are excited. And we pray that you will be blessed even as we cross over to our service and our much anticipated Sears and Science Conference with Dr. Moses McQuiza. Goodbye and God bless you.
Guys, we have Pastor Bob here today who is going to share a word of encouragement to our online viewers for our conference. Uh, good morning to one and all of you. Good morning, online viewers. I greet you in the lovely name of Jesus. And I just want to thank each and every one of you that even as you are so encouraged to listen to the, to the messages today and the conference that we're having, we know that you are going to be tremendously blessed and the power of the Word of God is going to move in and through the, the airwaves and God is going to bless each and every one of you. So I encourage you, if you can get anybody around you, wherever they are, to sit next to you and watch the supernatural fire of the Word of God is going to be extended right from BWC 250 Palm View Drive, South Africa, and it's going to reach every single one of you that's going to be, and it's going to be a truly, I encourage you, it's going to be a life-changing experience. So don't miss out every single day. We're going to go on live, and please make time, make your way through, and listen what the Word of God is going to come through the servant of God, because God is going to speak to somebody, and you're going to have truly a life-changing experience. So don't miss out. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What a, wow, a powerful word of uh, encouragement there. We have another member that we would like to uh, interview today. Morning, how are you? Morning, I'm okay. Good morning, listeners. Good morning, online viewers. I thank you all for listening to our broadcast this morning. And this morning, we just want to thank God for everything that he has done in our lives. And we thank God for today, Supernatural Fire Conference 2024. We just give glory because we know God is going to do something amazing in this place today and this whole week. So we thank God for everything. We, we ask you all to come and join us today. Join us for the whole week that you all be blessed beyond measure. So we thank each and every one of you all that are watching us this morning. We give glory, praise, and honor to our Jesus because he's awesome. This morning, come and join at 250 Palm View Drive, Bethesda Worship Center. Apostle Trevor Subramani, he is the senior pastor, so please come and join Moses McQuiza this week during the conference. We give you all praise, glory, and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Wow, what a wow. You can see the excitement in people for, for this conference ahead. And we pray that you will be blessed even as we switch over to our first night, our first day of our CS and Science Conference with Dr. Moses Mugwiza. We pray that you will be blessed. Okay, guys, we have one more member, that we will, uh, Pastor Michael Subramani, that we'd like to interview. Would you share a word of encouragement?
Good morning, church. Let us stand in the house of God this morning. Amen. Are you glad to be in the house of God this morning? Amen. Are you ready for our conference? Amen. This is our first day of five days of glory and power. And we know even as we come into the house of God for this conference, these five days as we sacrifice and give this time to the Lord, we know that God is going to change some lives. Amen. Amen. So we're going to get ready to open in prayer. And we believe that even as we've come for the first day, that God is going to start doing miraculous things from day one. So by the time we get to day five, you must expect for major change in your life. Amen? Amen. So come on, let's give God some praise in this house. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Psalm 91 says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. May God add the blessing to the reading of his precious word. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. Father God, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we could be found here in your presence. Father God, even as we prepare our hearts and our minds, Lord, to receive the word of God from the man of God that you have sent, O God, to impart something and deposit something into the lives of your children. Father God, I pray, O Lord, that your children will be receptive and receive everything that you want to deposit to into them in these five days of glory, Father. Even as we have come, Lord, the title of this conference is Seers and Signs, and we believe, Lord, that you will begin to open the eyes of your children to begin to see in the spirit father god all the things that you want them to see father god that they will be in tune to the frequency of heaven father that we will see signs wonders and mighty manifestations of your power and your glory in this house lord lord as your son walks into this place father we pray oh lord that the prophetic will shift even upon his life father god that what we will see in this house is something that we have never seen or experienced before father we pray oh lord that your children will be shifted and propelled into a new level and a new dimension of the realms of the Spirit, Father. We pray, O oh Lord, that the lives of your children will be shifted and changed forever in these meetings, Father God. We pray, O oh Lord, that everything that is said and done will be done to glorify and lift up your name and your name alone. So, Father God, have your way and let your will be done in this house. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. And all God's children said, Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise in this house. We've come to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, if you believe our God is worthy, won't you put your hands together? Lift up a shout of praise this morning. Hallelujah.
Amen. Thank you. 
Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Come aside, burn like a fire in this place, oh God. Burn like a fire. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Ida ba 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 Rebe be 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 ke se te re be ke osho to ro bo se ni lord burn like a fire burn like a fire burn like a fire we need your fire we need your fire in this place oh god we need your fire in this place oh god ye ra ba 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 ko se te re be 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 se te re be se te re be se te re be se te ra ba 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 ko so to ro bo sha nda ra ba se te Church, if you can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Ira ba 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 shondola ro ba ndola ba se ra mandara ba kate. Few minutes, seka ra ba kota ra ba kase te ra ba mando ra ba ba sata ra ba kase te. Let every satanic power be destroyed. Every demonic power be destroyed. Every assignment be destroyed. Father, we pray over the conference, Lord. We pray the blood. We pray the blood. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb, Rabba Baba Kosa Taraba Kate. Lord, let there be a supernatural shift over these few days. Lord, as your people will lock in, Lord, we pray for a supernatural shift, O oh God. A supernatural shift, O oh God. Lord, we believe in miracles. We believe in signs and wonders. We believe in the supernatural, O oh God, and we believe, Father, that even over these few days, Lord, miracles will take place, Lord. Miracles will take place. Oh, Rabba Kasa Taraba Shanda. Rabba Baba Bondoro Bobo Sata. Lord, miracles will take place, Father. Rabba Baba Bondo. Rabba Baba Bondoro Bobo Sata Raba Shede. Supernatural miracles will take place, oh God. Father, we pray the blood of Jesus upon your people, Lord. The blood of Jesus upon your people. Provide, provide, provide for your people, oh God. Provide, provide. This morning, provide, provide, provide. Supernatural shift in provision, Lord. In this few days, a supernatural shift in provision, a shift in healing and deliverance, O oh God. A shift, Father. A shift. A shift. Ira ba 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 mandola ro ba ko sa tara ba ka se te. Ira ba 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 mandola ba she, Lord. It's your presence that changes things, O God. Burn like a fire. Lord, in this place, let Your will be done, Lord. Let Your purpose be achieved and accomplished. Lord, we pray as we lock in, Father. Four days of the supernatural. Burn like a fire, Lord. You're already here, Lord. You're already here. You're already here. You're already here. You're already here. You are here to do what only You can do, Lord. You are here to do only what you can do, Lord. And Lord, this morning we receive it all. We receive it all. We receive it all. We receive it all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we release your blood over this church. We cover this church with the blood. We pray your will be done. Your purpose be accomplished, Lord. We pray, Lord, these four days will be. Four days of the supernatural glory. Bless this conference, Lord, as we start. Seers and Science Conference. The prophetic and the miraculous. Seers and Science, the prophetic and the miraculous conference. Direction will come. Miracles will happen. Supernaturally. Lord, we pray that blessing over this church. And all God's people said, Amen. You may be seated in the house of God. Amen. How many of you are happy and excited about the conference? Amen. We are going to be blessed. I tell you something. This time there's such an expectancy, and so many of you have really uh, sort of connected with what the Lord is doing. Amen. Even the band, uh, I acknowledge the band and uh, Pastor Lungelo with your suit. Well done. Amen. Hallelujah. 
You know, now I know when guest speakers come, is the only time you put this suit on. <laughs> amen. But praise the Lord. Amen. He's looking smart. Amen. 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 Uh, we thank God. Uh, pastor Vincent is looking shocked. He's a qualified pastor, by the way. You know, uh, joined us and his wife. They both are qualified ministers. So I told him, as this congregation begin to grow, we're not only going to have people in Phoenix, people from Kwamashu and all over are coming. I mark my words. They are coming. Amen. And, uh, and he will rise and become the man that will go visit those townships because I, I must be honest, Pastor, you, I'll come with you, but you'll be driving. Amen. <laughs> How am I going to know the roads? I won't know the roads. Amen. So we're going to, uh, at this time, take up the offering and uh, Pastor Moses is here. He'll be introduced officially with the video and we thank God for what he will do and what God will do. Truly, there's a lady here. I'd like you to stand to your feet. You healed of cancer. You came here. We prayed for you and you... Can you stand, sister? Uh, don't worry, you won't talk. Come forward. Uh, you won't talk. She's all the way from uh, Richards Bay. Uh, for the people in Richards Bay, I don't know if you are here and you know what I think. All the Richards Bay, amen, amen. I see them there, amen. Sister, tell me, uh, I know Jason is not here, and I don't know who can do the mic job, but Ashley's taking over, <laughs> amen. Uh, tell me, uh, what happened to you? Short words, if you want to. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's, I'm very overwhelmed to be here today. I sat at home watching all this and wished and longed to be here, and today is the day. And I give God all the glory and all the praise. So I was diagnosed with cancer, leukemia in the blood, and Janelle had spoken to you. I think you got a radio show, which is on a Monday, I'm not mistaken. Yes. And before that radio show, you, you phoned me that Monday and you prayed up to now, I don't know what you said, but there's no cancer. There's no cancer. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Karsten. Thank you, Thank Pastor. You. Thank you, Mom. Amen. Mama. You're the Thank opposite house name, eh? Yes. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. I even, I think I came to your house once. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How good is that? You see, when I say it's in the spirit, one phone call, cancer is gone. Look at me in the blood. I mean, this is something doctors are trying to treat, but Jesus can heal you completely. Amen. And that is why I want to say, whenever we design a conference, I tell you something, anything can happen. Whether it's a conference, no conference, I know anything can happen. But the four days is a build-up. And when God begins to move and he begins to operate, the supernatural will manifest. What will take you 40 years to achieve on your own? I can give you a guarantee. You get it in one minute. How many years of treatment? We hear a lot of cancers being healed. But, how, but they say, you've got to go for this and go for that. But, you know, she don't even know what I said. Because it's not about what we... It's something in the spirit. Amen. You don't have to understand it. You just got to receive it by faith and take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And your miracle manifests. So, I don't know who's going to get healed of high blood pressure. Diabetes will just go away. Uh, HIV will disappear. Uh, somebody will get new kidneys. Somebody will get uh, new livers and pancreas. That's why it's a serious and science conference for anything to happen. How many of you are glad you're in a church where anything is possible? Amen. Amen. I mean, this lady came all the way from Riches Bay on the telephone. I mean, you can't think about the joy. Imagine the pain and suffering she would have been going through. But look at what Jesus has done. Amen. Amen. So, before I take up the offering, I want to let you know there is envelopes for those of you that plant a seed. And let me say, the seed is for your benefit. It's for you to receive. We, we always, when we sow into the man of God's life, amen. And so if you are here and you need an envelope for the seed, Peter Munyan is there. He's got the envelopes. And if you're here, I'd like you to raise your hand. If you didn't get an envelope, uh, you can get one. Just raise your hand before we take up the offering. Uh, the, okay, maybe stand because... Uh, at the back, we can't really see you and where you are, but those of you that need a seed offering, bring a seed offering and we sow it straight to the man of God, which trusts God, whatever needs to be done, will be done. Amen? And we believe in God for the miraculous. Hallelujah. That's for your seed offerings. And now we're going to pray over the normal offering. Father, I thank you that grace will be multiplied. Father, you know God, every expense is met. But Lord, I always tell people to do 
something for their own miracle, something for their own blessing, something for the supernatural to locate them. And Lord God, today I thank you, Father, that you are the God of all finances, Lord. You are the source of our finances. And Lord, for you, it is too easy. I thank you, it is too easy, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that you will bless this church, you will bless this congregation, and Lord, you will open up the doors for business, for whatever they need, Lord. I thank you, it's so easy, Lord, it shocks me. And I thank you, Lord, that you are going to bless this church, Father. The miraculous, the healing power is so easy. Everything is so easy in the anointing. Because, Lord, we see that, Lord, in the anointing, you heal cancer, you heal livers, you heal lungs, whatever it condition may be, Lord. And Father, we are all part of this kingdom. And Lord, I thank you that, Lord, and I prophesy that life will be easy in the anointing. Life will be easy in the anointing. And Lord, we receive these words today that we will see the best life that we will live now because of you and your word. And all God's people said, Amen. Good morning, family of God. My name is Kanita. And I'm Andrea. And these are the announcements for the week. Supernatural Fire Youth. We will be going on camp this year to Teen Ranch in Port Edward from the 26th to the 28th of September. The cost is a thousand rand per person, which includes transport, meals and accommodation. A non-refundable deposit of 250 rand is required to secure your place. Seats are limited. Registration and payment can be made at reception. Attention all youth, this Friday the 5th of July, we will be closed and we will reopen on the 12th of July. We are receiving many testimonies of what God is doing in the lives of His people. If you have a testimony, you can leave your name and details at the reception. Our Moy River services takes place every Sunday at 9am at the corner of Lawrence and Clotten Street, Moy River, opposite the FNB Bank. Our celebration services takes place every Sunday. Our first service is at 8 a.m. and our second service is at 10.15 a.m. Sunday school will remain closed and will reopen on the 14th of July. You can listen to Apostle Trevor Subramani's teachings on Apple Podcasts and Spotify every Monday. As well as on Highway Radio at 12 p.m. Our healing and deliverance services takes place every Tuesday at 7 p.m. You can catch Supernatural Fire with Apostle Trevor Subramani on Faith TV, Channel 341 DSTV every Saturday at 5 p.m. Our Supernatural Fire devotional is available on Take A Lot and Amazon as well as our church reception. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook to receive notifications on our upcoming services and events. That's all for now. Goodbye and God bless.
Apostle Dr. Moses McGuiza is a seasoned man of God who travels extensively over the world and God has been using him mightily by the power of the Holy Spirit to bring deliverance, healing, restoration to God's children. And he has been in ministry since January 10th, 1996. He flows in the prophetic and anointed in prayer. He is a general overseer of All Nations Christian Fellowship worldwide with a few churches affiliated and church planted in North, East, Central Africa, Europe and different states in America with a new one in Georgia. He oversees 11 churches across India and Romania. Father of four boys and one adopted daughter, husband of Natalie McGuiza and author of many books. 
He holds a Doctor of Divinity degree from Higher Place Christian University based in Atlanta, Georgia. But there's the worship center. Put your hands together as we welcome Apostle Dr. Moses McQuiza. Good morning, church. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, welcome in the presence of the Lord. If you don't mind, bow your head, close your eyes, and let us pray. Father, we give you praise. We bless your holy name for who you are, what you have done, and what you're about to do. You are the Alpha and your Maker. You are the beginning and the end. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus is the Lord. Let your will be done. Let your fresh anointing flow in this place. In these four days, let the heaven kiss the earth, transform the life of somebody. Come and take the glory. We give you praise, we honor you. It's in Jesus' name that we have prayed. And all the saints say, all right, why don't you uh, shake the end of your neighbor and tell your neighbor something is about to happen. If you have two hands, clap your hand for the Lord. I think you can do better than that. Come on, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, 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 I'm happy to see you this morning. Praise the Lord. All right, without any further delay, let's go back to the Word of God. Wow. I hear the sound of, of the rain in this place. So these four days, something is going to happen. We have some few scriptures that we're going to read. We are in the book of Amos. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Matthew chapter 10, verse 41. If you're writing down 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 9. Psalm 145. Am I going first? Psalm 145, verse 4. I think the last one is Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. Praise the Lord. I feel in my spirit that you have to pray. I want you to lift up your hand in the position to receive. I want you to be concentrated. And I want you to speak to the Lord. I said, Dear Lord Jesus, I'm in your presence. Let your will be done upon my life. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let me glad, be glad and rejoice in it. So why don't you lift up your voice now? Speak to the Lord. He's here already. Come on, come on, come on. Lema nakuta tara basaide, eri abakura basaide ira stabla, ora baba manakota bra, iria siakata bra, lokinta lokata bra ide ira stabla ide. Father, I break every assignment of the enemy. Everything is flying in the four corners of this place under the sound of my voice. I break it, rebuke it, destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, you are Lord. In Jesus' name that we have prayed. Come on, clap your hand for the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The, the, the title has been given to us is very powerful. And we'll see by the grace of God, I will be able to finish it in these four days because there's a lot to talk about it. 
Seals and Sign Conference. When you read the Bible, you will understand that the Lord used the hand of the apostle to perform a lot of miracles. And I believe by the grace of God, as long as the Lord used the servant of God and give us the team, that we're going to break down as a bread in this place, sign and wonders will flow in this place to another dimension. Oh, come on, Karabasai. I say sign and wonders will flow in this place in another dimension. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish what I've prepared today, but uh, we'll go to the second service. In the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 7, the Bible says, Before the Lord God does anything, he tells his plan to ease servant, the prophet. Surely the Lord will do nothing before he reveal the secret to his prophet. If you are a meditator of the word of God, you will understand prophet is a mouthpiece from the Lord. Prophet can change people's destiny and reverse every plan of the enemy. Before the Lord do anything, he communicates to his servant, the prophet. We are talking about the fivefold ministry. There is a lot of things is happening in the body of Christ. When you talk about the fivefold, everybody, we are talking about the prophetic. Everybody want to be a prophet. In those prophetic, there is a genuine prophet and there's a fake prophet as well. And then, I don't know if I'll be have, I will have much time to talk about uh, the fake prophet because I'm not in the office of judgment today. But I will paraphrase some few things these days for you to understand in the scripture. You have to be careful. Jezebel's spirits, they are operating in a high level in the prophetic. They do all kinds of things and they are behind the money. And this topic is very sensitive. So, as those has been said, I'm going to talk much about the office of the prophet. In the office of the prophet, there's a prophet of doom. There's a prophet of predictions. There's a prophet of warnings. And there's a prophet of judgment. All of them, they're in different offices with different assignments. When God establish a prophet, he establish a prophet with an assignment. And I do believe, pay attention of this, because this topic has been released in this house. I think and I feel in my spirit that God is raising up a team, a group of people in this place, that the Lord is going to use them in the prophetic. Hello? Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to paraphrase some few things that are going to help us to understand how this office flow. A prophet is a mouthpiece from the Lord. The prophet has been used by God in order to vehicle the message to someone. The Lord is the prophet, but a prophet is a, a recipient of the glory of God in order to vehicle the message. You cannot take the place of God. You are depending on him. Who is the author and finish of our faith. Praise the Lord. In the book of Matthew 10, chapter 41, he has revealed, I mean, he said that he that receive a prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive the prophet reward. So as this week, I'm going to talk much about the prophetic and under the sound of my voice, today, before the end of the service, I will release the word of the prophet in this place, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, say amen louder. Praise the Lord. And in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 20, the Bible said, Believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in the prophet, you will prosper. I speak prosperity in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Believe the prophets, you will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I have four topics that I'm going to talk. I'm going to speak to you this morning before I drop the microphone. How to receive the message from the Lord. How? There's a four topic. Number one, there's a revelation. Number two, there's an interpretation. Number four, there's application. And number five, I mean, number one, revelation. Number two, interpretation. Number three, application. And number four, proclamation. So how to receive the message from the Lord? In the book of Psalm 145, verse 4, one generation shall praise your God to another and declare the mighty act. So I'm talking about a new generation God is about to raise up, that they will declare the mighty act of God in this place, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I do believe that God is about, is, is raising up a generation that the Lord is going to use them mighty in order to bring revival in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. So now, as we are talking, Korabasa, what is the meaning of seers? A seer is a prophet. He can see things and reveals by God. A seer is a prophet and can see things. The thing that he's able to see is revealed by God. The Lord may reveal to the sea a prophetic vision for a future and a current revelatory truth. A seer may receive a word or a vision. Somebody who has a capability to receive, to hear from God, and deliver that message as they receive it. Praise the Lord. All right? You may be close to God, to hear God, because he speaks with whisper. The Lord can whisper to you. There's a different ways that the Lord can talk to you. He can talk to you to your audible voice. He can talk to you in your vision. He can whisper something in your hearing. And now is the problem is for you to be very sensitive to hear God. He always communicates to us in different ways, but the problem, we are not available. Today, by the grace of God, may the Lord make your sense of a Ability to understand and hear God completely so you won't be lost in the mighty name of Jesus. To those of you who always receive dreams and wake up in the morning, you cannot even remember. May the Lord help you because after this, you will understand how the Lord can talk to you. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. A seer is one who sees things with your spiritual eyes. The Lord will open your eyes. He you cannot just... Open the eyes of everybody. There's a price that you have to pay. As I'm talking right now, the Lord may open my eyes and I see things. And when I see, the Lord allow me to see it and he allow me to release it. When I release it, that means whatever the Lord said, it will be established. But the problem is your faith and your belief. Lack of belief makes the word of God without effect. Somebody say Hallelujah. Let me, uh, I'm going to rush a little bit, but in the second service, that will be, I'll take much, much my time. He perceived the meaning of what we see and, uh, and is able to release it as the Lord revealed it. Therefore, he is an interpreter, a prophet. When you receive something, you have to be able to translate it as the Lord releases it. Okay. And he clarified eternal truth. He is able to clarify it. As he is able to see it, he will be able to clarify it. Key number one. Key number one is revelation. When we are talking about revelation, revelation is enable us to view the reality from a heaven perspective. That book, I mean the book of revelation, is as in the book of John. He record of a series of vision that he was given and uh, instruct and write down to us. Through his record of his vision, we get to see the reality of heaven and earth from the perspective of heaven. All right? So, revelation, is means somebody, you are just sitting down, 
you are able to receive something, something that you did not plan. When the Lord is about to communicate to you, first of all, he silence your mind. He silence your thinking so you'll be able to receive, you'll be able to download it in you. As long as you receive as the Lord gives it, and you'll be able to release it as the Lord gives you. Sometimes when you ask, how did you see it? God talked to us in different ways. I will give you some of my examples. Sometimes when I'm about to profess about somebody, I can see it like it's a scream on the screen. I can read it like this. Sometimes I hear the voice of the Lord. He's telling me, say, this person will be blessed. And then I ask the Lord, do you allow me to say it? The Lord said, go ahead and say it. So when the Lord said, God cannot see, you cannot receive that word come to you and go back void. When the word of God is coming to you, you have to fulfill the assignment that has been sent into. Today, this morning, as long as the Lord is in this place, somebody will receive a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, today is my day. You receive, you know, when you receive, you have to learn how to receive it. That's the problem now. Learn how to receive it. How can you receive it? The problem is, uh, we God, I mean, the Lord is talking to us most of the time. But the problem, we are not available. We are too distracted and hard to be sensitive to hear what God is talking. And sometimes you hear different voices. Why do you hear different voices? Because you are not constant to the word. A prophetic is connected to the word of God. When you are a meditator of the word of God, then you will be able to understand how God communicates through the word. Somebody say Hallelujah. I said, receive it this morning. I said, receive it this morning. Somebody say, hallelujah. You cannot, if you know, the Bible said, God talk to us in different ways. If you know only one way, then you miss the point. Meditate upon the word of God. Take your time in prayer. Seek the face of God daily. Then you hear God talking. He always talk to you, but today, by the grace of God, the Lord is going to make you sensitive for you to receive it and for you to partake it, so you can transform your life. I said, receive it in the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Hmm. If you don't, you don't get how God operates in your life, then you'll be confused. Somebody say hallelujah. Nobody is able to justify the revelation. You can explain how you receive it, but you have a conviction that this is God, and God is talking to me. And that's why I've, I, I've, I've been expanding most of the time. My life is on the altar. Dedication, seeking the face of God daily. You cannot just, okay, you are coming to preach like this one, and then you are sleeping in bed expecting to come and God going to talk to you. No, you have to expend time in the presence of God because God has to download things in you. God has to tell you what you have to say to the people. Somebody say Hallelujah. Because you are the vehicle, you receive from the Lord, you are come to give what God sends you to release. If you don't have anything from the Lord, what are you going to give to people? You will make people feel good, feel good. they will clap their hands. God will say, you, all of you are going to be blessed. People clap their hands, hand, they, they went back, to, back home, nothing is happening. Somebody say hallelujah. So you will be able to receive, when you receive it, I mean, sometimes it's going to be hard to explain how you receive, but you have a conviction. How can you have a conviction and confidence? It's through the word of God. Learn how to meditate much upon the word of God, and you won't miss the point. Somebody say hallelujah. God always talk to us. He always talk to us. One time, I was going, I was a uh, few minutes, I don't know if I'll be able to finish. I was in Belgium doing an assignment on my way Belgium, I was supposed to pass through uh, Frankfurt. As soon as, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, when uh, I was in transit in Frankfurt, the Lord said, the next flight that you will take, you have a plane, you, there, will, there will be a crash. I hear it clearly. Nobody was talking to me. The Lord was talking to me himself. And I was on the plane. We are about to take off, and I hear the voice of God is telling me again, that this plane is going to crash. So I was sitting down between people, and how can I scream and tell them, this plane is going to crash, stop the plane. 
I receive the word myself. The Lord says, I know how the Lord communicates to me. And I have a confidence I know. That's why sometimes, you know, when you have a confidence of the Lord, you are communicating with God, you are able to understand the voice of God clearly. Even I'm talking to you. I ask you a question, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, did anything happen to you? You say, I don't know. It never happened to me. But I will be convicted that as long as I'm convicted, the Lord is telling me that thing's going to happen. So what happened? We took off doing taxi. And I begin to remind the Lord, myself. There was a lot of white people, I mean, black people among me. I mean, on my side, I was the only white. And I begin to speak in tongue. So they become red. They was say, what is going on with this guy? And once we were taking a taxi, I know already that I'm going to die. And I begin to speak in the realm of the spirit. When you receive a revelation from God, you have authority, you have the power, and God could use you mighty. You have the power to stop the plane. And I begin to speak to the pilot as I was sitting down. I say, voice, you are the creator of everything. Talk to the pilot. This plane has to stop because it is not my time to die. I have to build the church. And me and you, we have an assignment. Less than two seconds, they say, there is no way for us to take off because we have a technique problems, so we have to stop. We make a taxi, and I was sitting down myself, I begin to smile. And everybody don't know anything, but who was able to stop the plane? It's me. Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> May the Lord give you that capability and possibility to hear from the Lord easily. You will be able to stop. If this man was be able to stop cancer from the phone, why? Because he's connecting to God. When God says, say it, you are the vehicle you receive. You transfer the message that the Lord has released to you. Under the sound of my voice, I know the Lord will be a shift in this house. Or I was in the prophetic, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor. You see, we're talking about overflow now. Is, I say the sound of the rain. So the, the rain has started. Somebody say hallelujah. Now the problem, the second key, because uh, at 3, I mean, at, at 10.30 I have to... Is it 10.30? No, 9.30. Okay. <laughs> he, told, he told me 10.30, so. <laughs> All right. Huh? Extra money. Okay, no problem. So, the key number two, I'm rushing a little bit because of the time. Key number two is about interpretation. The problem, when you receive it, you have a convict, you are convicted, you have confidence that the Lord has, is the one who is giving to me. But most of the thing that is happening right now and put people in confusion is when you receive it and how to interpret it. Hello? Are you there? And then through the interpretation, a lot of people make a mistake. They will tell you something because they don't know how to interpret it. They may add something to what the Lord did not say. And it's creating a trouble. Under the sound of my voice, May the Lord give you that capability and possibility to interpret clearly as the Lord revealed it in the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Interpretation is the act to explaining. Act to explaining. Because if I say that there's an accident outside, I have four, five people here. I whisper the man of God, I say, okay, there's an accident with a BMW Outside, before the same message arrives to the end, either between them somebody will add something. It always happens like that. But in order for you to translate or interpret as the Lord release it, you have to be sold out for the kingdom of God and expand, expend much time on the altar in order to release it as you receive it. Somebody say hallelujah. That's where the problem is. And a lot of prophets, they make a mistake. My prayer this morning, may the Lord give you that capability to receive it and interpret it as the Lord releases it in the name of Jesus.
Say, so lift up your hands and say, I receive it. Say, so I receive it. In the name of Jesus. The person who translates the language of God, Korabas, have to be connected to God. May the Lord bring you at the place where you'll be connected to him so you'll be able to translate the message as it is. Because a prophet is a mouthpiece from the Lord. A prophet, Korabasaide, is a watchman. Based on the assignment that the Lord will release upon your life. If the Lord says, this man will die. And you don't take the assignment to rescue the life of that person. If that person died, the blood of that person is upon your head. That's why a program like this one, we cannot just come in. You sleep in bed and come in the morning and start talking to people. You are not a journalist. You have to spend time either on the floor, either the whole night seeking the first of God. What is it that I have to talk to these people in four days? Give me the word. If I do not have the word of God, I can't stand up here. I'm standing here. Even my brother invited me. If I don't have the word of God, I cannot give it to you. I'm standing here because the Lord has given me the word. And that word cannot go back void. Yeah. Somebody say hallelujah. How many people receive the dream, but they don't know how to translate the dream that they have received? And every day, you wake up with that dream. That dream will always be repeated. If that dream has always been repeated, that means that there is a message that you do not get it. There's a dream from God. There's a dream from a man. And there's a dream from the devil. Under the sound of my voice, every dream from the devil that is connected to your mind... May the Lord deliver you from it. I say, may the Lord deliver you from it. In the mighty name of Jesus. But every dream from God, may you receive the, the interpretation. I say, may you receive the interpretation in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be able to translate it as it is. In order for you to enter in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, I receive it. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, something is happening in this place. I'm raising up a generation that they're gonna man, they will testify and do wonders for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, number, 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 number three. Hmm. Number three is application. Application is how the Holy Spirit makes the living word of God collect with your word daily. Application is where the word of God. They see, I mean, the need, the need you, you have in your life today meets the head on, 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 and the Holy Spirit is role in your life that calls that to happen. Application, application is what you, you are doing, I mean, how, how you apply as the Lord release it to you. All right, so I was born in Congo. 24 years I left Congo, but we was being colonized by the Belgian. And the Belgian, what they did, they would, they would take the glasses, like my brother here. They take the glasses, they put the glasses right there. They say that this glass is the eyes. is watching you. So whatever you are doing, this eyes is recording. And then the white people, they will go in their office, minding their business. Eating, doing their own things. Those glasses sit down there. If somebody is killing himself, working so hard because those eyes, the glasses are recording it. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. So they, they, are, they, they do the application of the glasses in the life of somebody and they make you work hard to the point where you feel like, okay, somebody's watching me or oh, nobody's watching you. May the Lord help you to understand 